Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can, using an external controller, um, do MIDI learn for any plugin parameters inside Logic Pro for iPad. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside the Logic Pro for iPad using an iPad Pro M1. Let's click on Create Project and select Tracks. Next, let's select MIDI software instrument. And um, it sounds like this. And to confirm that I'm using an external controller, I don't have activated uh, uh, my uh, play surface, as you can see there. And if I go to settings as well under the app settings MIDI, you can see I have the MPK Mini 3 connected. Okay, so let's open up the plugin editor and let's double click on that electric piano and let's um, maximize that view. Now, there is a section here regarding tremolo, and let's say that I want to control the rate and the depth of the tremolo using two knobs from my external controller. Now, the Akai MPK Mini 3 has uh, eight knobs, um, which start from K1 to um, K8, and I'm going to use a K1 and K2 for this purpose. Now, K1 is sending a CC message um, 7, and 70 and um, k2 is sending cc 71 okay so i'm going to use those two so how am i going to do midi learn well this is the great thing you can use a uh, plugin called modifier now when you um, instantiate it the first thing you can see is input through so if that is active it will allow the um, input coming from the controller to go through in this case notes which you should have that activated Next, what you need to do is select the MIDI, the MIDI input and you can do a uh, learn MIDI here. But in this case, we want to control, uh, we want to receive from MIDI, uh, sorry, from MIDI CC70, which is that one. And we want to have as an output, um, instead of selecting one, uh, say learn, select learn plugin parameter, which is really nice. Then go to the vintage electric piano and now move the rate like so. If you go back to the modifier, you find that that plugin as a parameter has been recognized. Now here you have a slider which allows you to add to the output, okay, uh, in terms of numbers and also allows you to scale up in percentage. I recommend for now you set it to 100. So if I go to vintage electric piano and now I move the controller K1 on my Akai MPK Mini, you can see he's moving the rate up and down. And I can still play using the controller. Now let's add another modifier, like so. Now still have input to go through. Okay, now let's capture uh, this time uh, CC number 71, which is the second knob, K2. And let's output learn plugin parameter. We go to the vintage electric piano and we select death, like so. Now let's go back to the modifier and ensure that we are not adding any numbers and we don't have any offset and the scaling is set to 100. Otherwise the output will be scaled up and down based on the, the scale that you have here. Now let's go back to the vintage electric piano. Now let's use a K1 knob. You can see I'm changing the rate. Let's use K2 knob. You can see I'm changing the depth. So let's play. So as you can see, it's incredibly simple using the modifier uh, MIDI effect to actually do MIDI learn using an external controller or even a, an internal software controller like Surface Builder to actually do MIDI learn against any plugin parameter. So, and that is an, a nice way to actually do MIDI learn using your external controller. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time. Bye.